And now for something completely different to music and the global phenomenon that is Taylor Swift. She has arrived in Paris. She will be playing four nights tonight uh, just outside Paris at the La Défense uh, Arena. And uh, she is here. Swifties are camping out at the venue. And I'm joined by uh, Olivia salazar Winspear, who's here to tell us all about it. This is unbelievable. Tell us how this cultural phenomenon, as we're all calling it, uh, came about. Well, yeah, we're calling it the Taylor Swift effect, of course. And that is a very tangible effect because it's economic as well. It's been measured in the United States since so many fans travel, stay in hotels, use local businesses and services when they go to her concerts. The North American section of the era's tour is estimated to have had a $10 billion economic impact. And, for example, her opening night performance in Arizona brought in more revenue for local businesses than last year's Super Bowl, which was held at the same venue. She's playing 18 dates here in Europe, starting off with four concerts in Paris, so it should be very lucrative as well. Many people traveling from country to country to see her play. So positive knock-on effects for the locals, but the real winner is, of course, Taylor Swift herself. She became a billionaire last year, largely thanks to this tour. She became the youngest billionaire on Forbes' annual list. And that success didn't come out of nowhere. This is a 17-year career she's been building in which she sold 200 million albums. She's won 14 Grammy Awards. And the most recent album that she just released, uh, The Tortured Poets Department, immediately became the most listened to uh, album on Spotify ever. The previous record had have been held, of course, by one Taylor Swift. And she has this, this army of fans who are wedded to her. Uh, and her influence over them isn't just really musical, is it? She, she does exert a certain influence Absolutely. over them. Yeah, they're extremely loyal. They're most active online. Uh, they're responsible for all those streams on Spotify, all those record sales. But they'll also jump to her defence if there's any sort of feud on social media. Recently, Kim Kardashian lost hundreds of thousands of followers because Taylor Swift referenced uh, a feud that she had with her ex-husband, the rapper Kanye West. And beyond the virtual world, world. Uh, Swifties, as they're called, recently overwhelmed a pub in London that she'd mentioned in a song. But that influence, as you say, does extend to more important things. They embrace her beliefs, even her political positions, because she spoke out in 2018 against a Republican candidate in her home state of Tennessee. She spoke out against Donald Trump in uh, that, uh, that time, and she endorsed Joe Biden for the election. The effect that it had was that voter registration among the young demographic did go up at the time. A recent poll was done in the United States saying that 18% of Americans would follow Taylor Swift's endorsement uh, given the upcoming election uh, next year. So I spoke to journal journalist and author Morgan Giuliani, who's just published a book about Taylor Swift, and asked her whether Donald Trump should be scared of the pop, pop star given the upcoming election. And this is what she said. I think he's already scared of her um, because, like, clearly conservatives are talking about her a lot. It's the fact, uh, for example, on Fox News, where they tell her, like, you should stick to the music, you don't belong in politics, which is like just telling a woman, just stick to the kitchen, you don't belong outside of your home, you know, um, because they know that she has this power to rely, especially young voters, to register to vote and then to vote progressive. Uh, so he is afraid of her because he knows that she is such a massive force right now that um, she could really maybe change the game, change the outcome of the presidential election just by herself, which is also a great deal of pressure for a single artist. So we explored the Taylor Swift phenomenon in a bit more depth with Morgan on a special show here on France 24. You can catch that at 5.15 Paris time. It's also on our website too. Thanks very much, Olivia.